This is an example of an optimization problem. We're given a the information that a cylindrical can needs to contain 1,000 cubic centimeters. So that's one liter. What dimensions will minimize the amount of, of metal in construction? And so I've, I've started by sketching a figure uh, where I have my uh, cylinder, which consists of a circle that's been projected vertically. And the dimensions of a cylinder are characterized by the radius of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder. So with this picture in mind, let's consider what is the question. We want to find the dimensions that minimize the amount of metal. And so we, we want to figure out how we can translate that into a question mathematically. Now mathematically, the, the metal corresponds to the surface area of my cylinder. And so the formula for surface area of a cylinder, <clears throat> which we represent with the uh, variable s for surface area, consists of two circles. So there's the circle on top with area pi r squared, and there's a circle on the bottom with the same. So the top and bottom form this part 2 pi r squared. And then I have this outer edge, which if I were to sort of slice vertically and then unroll it, it would form a rectangle. And so that's the circumference 2 pi r times the height h. So that's the surface area. And we want to somehow minimize the surface area. But I want to point out that this formula has two variables. It has both the radius and the height. And when we do our uh, maximization and minimization, we only know how to do it with one variable. For that reason, we have constraints. And in this problem, we're told the cylindrical can contains exactly 1,000 cubic centimeters. And so that's the measure of volume. Our volume is 1,000 cubic centimeters. The formula for volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times h. And so we create an equation that the volume, pi r squared h, equals 1,000. Once we have our, our constraint equation, we can use that and solve for one of our variables. And here, I've solved for h. h is equal to 1,000 over pi r squared. And I'm going to substitute into my surface area formula that calculation in place of h. So my volume is 2 pi r squared, the circles on top and bottom, plus 2 pi r times the height that I have to use in order to guarantee my volume is 1,000 cubic centimeters. Well, we now simplify that. And so the pi and the one of the r's cancels. So 2 times 1,000 gives me 2,000 and divided by r. So this is the formula of the function that we want to minimize. Our radius has to be a positive number, so we are going to try to minimize the volume on the interval from 0 to infinity. And notice we don't include 0 because uh, 0 in the radius would violate our, our restriction that we have 1,000 cubic centimeters in the volume. Okay. Well, how do, we, how do we minimize a function? We minimize a function by finding critical points. So we calculate our derivative, v prime, so we get 2 pi times 2r, so that's 4 pi r, and then 2,000 over r, either using the uh, reciprocal rule or the power rule, uh, we can quickly find that the derivative of 2,000 over r is negative 2,000 over r squared. And we want to know where is the slope 0? That would be a critical point. So we solve for 0. Um, here I have a combination of terms, one of which is a fraction. I'll need a common denominator. So I create a common denominator of r squared. If I uh, solve for the numerator equals 0, I get 2,000 divided by 4 pi, which simplifies to 500 over pi, and I need to take a cube root to isolate the r. So this is the value for my, for my radius. This is the critical point. Now once I have a critical point, I need to do sign analysis and find out where my function was increasing or decreasing. So at 0, I can't have 0. That's a vertical asymptote in my volume graph. And I have my critical point, the cube root of 500 over pi. And I now check points to the left and the right. And I, I discover that on the left it's negative and on the right it's positive, so my function will be decreasing and then increasing, and that means that I have a minimum happening at this critical point. And so that is, in fact, the minimum amount of 
metal. My surface area, wow, all of my V's below need to be S's, so let's fix that. My, my radius is given by this critical point, 5.419 centimeters, and my height needs to be 10.839 centimeters, and I got that by plugging my value of R into my height equation. So let's fix that mistake. All right, so I apologize. We should have had not V, but these are all my surface area function, not my volume function.